Hey guys, it's Gabe. So today's video, it's just gonna be me. Um, Bella's taking care of the baby right now. But basically this video is gonna be about um, what it's like to be a teen dad. So I'm 19 years old. And basically, I don't know where I'm gonna start exactly. But basically, being a teen dad is a really big change. It's, it's a really big change. It's like, it's unexplainable. It's really, you just have to go through it in order, you know, to experience like how it feels and everything like that. But as far as like how I first found out and how I felt about it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just run that down. And then, you know, I'm gonna talk about some positives and stuff, but just kind of how, what my story is and how I found out my girlfriend was pregnant. So it all started basically, um, <clears throat> she started throwing up a lot because it was, it's one of the signs when a woman's pregnant, she was throwing up a lot. Sure, her mood swings were all over the place. Um, sometimes she didn't want to eat certain things that she would all the time. So I was like, I, I didn't really notice. I thought it was just she was sick or something because that's what she said, she was sick. And so, she eventually got to the point where she was um, peeing blood and she immediately told her mom. And so they took her in and she got checked and then they found out that she was pregnant. And I got the news because I was at work and she texted me. And then we talked on the phone when I was on my lunch and everything about it. And I was like, are you serious and all that? And so fast forward, to where I'm out of work and I'm talking to her and I was meeting up with her because I was spending the night at my house that day after work. So then I came to her house um, the next day and um, we talked and I was very upset at the time just because prior to all this happening, she told me that um, she, had to, she had to have surgery in order to have kids because she was on um, birth control and all of that so I thought we were okay and my plan was not to have kids not not anything against kids or anything I love children and everything and I love babies but me in my ways I just didn't plan on having kids maybe in the future I was thinking about it but my mindset was that I wasn't ready for kids so and she she knew that too and she she wanted a kid but she said that it was okay too because she wasn't ready as of now we wanted to do it maybe if i decided to do it like a couple years down the road and that was our plan so when we both found out and everything she said she was crying at the office with the doctor and everything and she was just they said it was a miracle on how this happened because they said as i said before that she had to have surgery in order to have a child so it was with um I forgot exactly, I'm sure she'll explain it in a different video. But it was something down there and it was like a problem with her um, vaginal area. So they said that she basically, it was a miracle that this happened. So she cried and everything and then I was crying a little bit. But I was more mad at this time when I first found out because I felt like I was lied to. But then looking back like I feel really bad because she was as shocked as she was as shocked as I was so we were both kind of just like in our feelings at that point so she was kind of going through a bunch of emotions and a lot of thoughts going through her head and so me yelling at her that's what happened like I was I was trying to talk to her about it like why like we like we wanted to um i was like can we do adoption i i don't want to do abortion i'm against it i was like but i'm not ready for this so that's like our last option i was i was willing to do it as like a last resort i wouldn't put it as my first option i don't like adoption but i me myself at that point i was not ready for a child so i was like man this is going to be completely different like all my freedom and taking things slow and all that has just like jumped like years ahead so 
when she told me she didn't know what she wanted to do, I was like, man, like, that made me a little bit more mad because she agreed with me that she wasn't ready for until a couple of years. And then, like I said, after yelling, like, talking that whole night, because we were talking in the car, after talking that whole time, it was just, like, a waste of time because I ended up, like, making it worse, the situation worse, and she was even more upset and crying because she felt like I wasn't there to help her and stuff when she needed me. But then, um, a couple weeks later and everything, I was, I was willing to stay by her side and I was willing to help her with whatever she needed. And that was another thing, adjusting to the nine month pregnancy with a woman, it is a lot. She had so many mood swings. She had so many things that she didn't like and everything, but it was cool at the same time because you get to see how a woman is in those stages because they have three trimesters and she changed a lot from the first second and third one and let me tell you it was a lot like be prepared if you're gonna go through with this that women get crazy and it's unexplainable like I can't really explain it's just every every woman's different they have different cravings how they act and everything if they're if they're mad at some points and everything but she was a lot and it was funny in obnoxious at points so i love her for that but it was just it, it's a crazy ride it's like a roller coaster nine month roller coaster so you guys got to get ready for that if you're gonna go through with it but um so i started transitioning into helping her through those trimesters and stuff you know getting her supporting her when she needed me and everything like that and then it finally came when mariana was born and that was october 19th and that was, it was crazy because the whole nine months you think they're inside you and they're inside the woman. And, you know, you talk to them, you read books and stuff, you feel them kicking and everything. And then you finally see them after all that long time wait. And it's like, looking back, I was like, this is such a blessing. And to some people, you still might, you know, not want children. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But my first option back then was I wanted to for my baby to have parents and stuff I don't want to just you know abortion and or have the child and not support them and just you know give it away or something like that like no I wanted if if I was going to if we were going to go to the nine months I wanted to do an adoption so my child could have parents and stuff and find a nice family to be able to support them or be able to support her but no, it's just she didn't want to do it, so I told her I was going to support her in every which way I could, and that's what I did, and I did it to the best of my ability, and yeah, it's, I don't know, guys, it's it's a crazy, it's a crazy situation when it happens, and it can happen to anybody, so if you think, oh, it's not going to happen to me, that's what I thought, so, and, and look at what happened, so that's my story. Um, I tried to sim it down a little bit because it's already going on eight minutes and I didn't want to talk your guys' ears off as much as I already am. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, anything that I kind of talked about in this video that you still have answer questions for, let us know in the comment section and we'll get to them. And yeah, just hit that subscribe button, guys. 1K, we just hit it. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much. Peace, guys.